Uh, Clovis, uh, the government, you know, ready to get together around that table uh, this morning. Tell us more about what we're expecting. Indeed, and it's all beginning today. This morning, in a few minutes, here at the Hotel de Matignon, the Prime Minister's office, the new, uh, the first steps of this uh, new uh, government, uh, with a typical French uh, breakfast, coffee, croissant, uh, most likely pain au chocolat. Uh, also, uh, President Emmanuel Macron wants this government, or wanted this government, to be one of national uh, unity, to bring together all the parties apart from uh, those on the far right and the far left. He wanted that because, of course, in the past snap elections, well, no single party managed to get an outright majority. But uh, this government has failed to uh, include uh, major left-wing figures. There's only one left-wing uh, politician. Uh, he has got an important ministry. It's Justice Minister Didier Migo from the left, and he's number two of this government after uh, Michel uh, Barnier. So, Tim, this morning, it's starting for this new government, and later on, you'll have the handing over of powers in uh, several ministries, notably at the Foreign Affairs Ministry. And this afternoon, the first cabinet meeting for Michel Barnier. And it's an important moment, of course, for him and his government. It's starting, Clovis, but everybody in France wondering how long it will actually last. Already talk of this vote of no confidence. But how likely is that, that, that we'd actually get a parliament united enough to push through a vote of, of that kind? That's exactly the question, Eve. We've been waiting days and days for this uh, government to be uh, formed. Michel Barnier is struggling to recruit uh, ministers. Why? Simply because nobody knows how long this uh, government will be uh, in uh, power, in charge, because the left-wing bloc and the far-right party, the National Rally of Marine Le Pen, extremely powerful in that Parliament with many MPs. Well, they've already warned that they will back a vote of no uh, confidence at the National Assembly. The question is, when, over which measure, which uh, proposed law uh, will they do that? And if this vote of no confidence passes, well, the government will fall. So, of course, it's a problem for uh, Michel Barnier. And yesterday on French TV, he asked for time. He said um, parties, politicians, regardless of uh, whether they come from the left or the right, need to realize that the situation of the country is critical. France's financial budgetary situation critical with huge deficits. And that's why he's calling all politicians to support him, help him. Michel Barnier, the newly appointed prime minister, saying he will bring more cohesion, fraternity to France. He also said he will not increase taxes for middle classes, uh, the uh, most impoverished also parts of French society, but he will increase taxes for the more the wealthiest parts and also uh, big companies who've recorded big profits over the past few months, past few years. This in a national effort, if you will, to improve the uh, situation of France. Michel Barnier's government starting today, really, and all eyes on uh, this uh, newly appointed prime minister. Will he manage to keep this uh, government in power for a long time? Will he manage to keep some kind of national unity, convince the far right and the left wing that he's the man who can help France? We'll have to wait and see. OK, Clovis Casali at Prime Minister Buildings. Thanks indeed for that.